Yeah, hi YouTube, it's Michael one last time for today. Um, I'm a little tired, so please don't mind. After that I'm probably going to bed. Um, I experimented around with um, PCB technologies and um, I made some good progress and I want to show you the results and also give a little explanation about how it is done ah come on I'm still not sure where my tripod is it's probably gone it's gone and it doesn't sit right with me probably got a clip out man hmm so the product is still in the um, explosion machine so what did I do? I used this resist layer which is a Bungert um, stopping agent it's a laminate to give my PCB a stopping agent so it requires a few additional steps when you make the PCB it takes a lot of time but believe me it's not so hard and the result is really good I did this the first time so the result ain't perfect yet but it's still very good I used a laminator um, okay the, this it looks a little ramp, uh, ramponized but that has a reason <laughs> I had to disassemble it and remove a few of the parts so it was possible to get the PCB through because the PCB, normal um, FR4 PCB, is, it's too thick for a standard laminator so it would be scratched. But with this modified, lam modified I mean disassembled you can say, a laminator machine it's, it's possible to do it 30 bucks. So yeah. Here we go. Let's show you the PCB. It's the relay card PCB. Come on. Ooh. Ah, hot and fresh. I'm a little chumpy today. Okay, this is the PCB with the stopping agent. This PCB I did 100% myself, which means the layout, the film, and the stopping agent. And if you look carefully at the PCB, it's a, it's a double-sided uh, PCB, by the way. You probably realize it isn't drilled yet. See? The drills are still full. Because drilling in this process is the last step, and I didn't do that yet, and I certainly want to do this today. So this is the, let's have a look at the result. One problem I have this with this layout is um, there's a little too uh, there's not enough clearance to the dimension. This is a, a Euro card, 100 by 160 millimeters, and you know I used up the space a little too heavily. I should have uh, left a little more clearance to the dimension to the border. So. But this is fault of the. Uh, this is my fault. It's it's the layout. Oh yeah. See. Also, the board is almost in perfect sync. You see. No distortion here between between the two layers of the board. Backside. So how did I do this? And what probably will interest you is how do I get this stopping agent onto a board that I did myself? If you do it right, there's really no telling between making it yourself and, and say ordering it from a, for, from a factory. Um, at least not what when it comes to the laminate itself because the laminate it really looks fine. It's just a matter of getting it on to the PCB right, handling it right. But see, I made this the first time. 
and see the result. Usually the first, and I, uh, this is only one try, I made this PCB in one try, so you see it is expected that the result isn't perfect and if you look at the result you'll probably see that it's, it is quite good. No bubbles, no, no whatever on the, on the board, on the laminate itself. So it's not so hard. It is, however, it's time consuming. It took me quite some effort, a couple of hours. So, how do you do it? First step is, you make your PCB like you always do. You expose it using a normal positive film. And what I did, and this is what, uh, how I will do it in the future, I made a bag out of the two sides of the film, glued it together, then I cut two windows into the, here's a window, and here's a window, so I can fixate the PCB inside the bag. Then you put the PCB, the blank PCB, into this bag, it opens up here. It, you put it in, I mean it's, um, this layout has one specialty, it uses really the whole, whole 100 by 160 millimeters, so you put it in the bag, you position it, you fix it with a little tape, and that's it. You can expose the one side, you turn it around, expose the second side, and by the fixation it, it will not go away. And also, you have you have this film which has two sides and good, good sync, and this will make for a really good result for a double-sided PCB. Probably the best you can get with... I mean, I have just a simple um, ultraviolet um, exposure machine. It's It's nothing special. The good ones have a vacuum compression, they also have two sides, so they have um, the light on, on the bottom and, and the top side, so it get, gets developed uh, at both both sides at a time. Here you always have to turn it around, because you see the, the area is a little smaller here. But still, with this, with this bag, it works per perfectly well, see, compared to this thing. So, then comes the next step use laminate it's probably this laminate isn't much different to probably other brands of laminate you can order over the net you made a collect order here because if you order it from Bunga directly you have to use a 50 meter roll and this is a little much even from my taste you cut out a piece using a cutter knife it just fits about the dimension of the board and then this tape uh, this the resist has has a glossy side and it has a matte side so this is and it has it's very thin and it has a protective foil on both sides so what you have to do you have to remove um, one um, the matte side first the foil the protective foil that is on on there remove it without touching it after you etch, and in this case, it's, of course, it is also tinned, etch and tin the board, and then you make, need to make sure that the board is really completely clean, acetone, for example, and then you, you just flood it with water, and then you make it dry, and then you air pressure the rest of the fossils and all the crap that is on the board away because all the crap that is on the board will then later be under, the, under your assist and this doesn't look good it looks crummy so make it really tidy don't touch it with your fingers before you have the resist on it so be very careful use it touch it like that touch the resist only on the outermost borders and leave a little spare I mean don't cut the resist in a way though, it just fits the board. Leave, say, five millimeters in each direction. So, what do you do next? After removing the matte side or uh, protective foil of the resist, you put it onto your PCB. Then you carefully take it and put it through the laminate. It isn't switched on, but you put it through. Mm. Then, Check the result. 
It works actually quite fine with um, with this standard 30 baht machine. And after that, you check the result. Use a cutter knife to remove the extra um, resist. And then you have to do this a second time for the back side, if present. I mean, if you do a single sided PCB, you have to do it only once. So with a double sided PCB, it's a little more complicated. But it's, it's twice what you have to do, twice um, the work amount. But never mind. So then it's then the resist is mounted. Of course, what you have to do next, the resist of course will cover the whole PCB, everything. Next step, and this is an additional step. Um, you, I threw this away anyway, uh, uh, because the fixation of the toner wasn't right and it stuck to the PCB. That was quite crappy. You have to do another film. And this is not a positive but a negative film. Um, it contains, I used dimension, outer borders, and then it um, contains the stopping layer. T stop and eagle, and what you can see quite clearly clearly is that the stopping layer covers all that is that will later be removed. So what's black here on this film is then later removed from the stopping agent. So then you do the whole schmuck again, cut a window into it, make the make oh, the back fixated. And then, don't forget this because I forgot this, you have the second protective uh, foil still on, you remove it, then you expose it, using just using your ultraviolet exposure machine again. Um, as to the time, exposure time, say if you have a good film, two minutes. For the Bungat PCBs to normal exposure, time for, for for the tracks, I mean for the copper dimension, I use 3 minutes and 40 seconds, use 2 minutes, that'll be fine, not longer. And then, of course, both sides again, you take it out. Then you need to let it rest for half an hour at least, let it just rest. So, then you have a once this is finished, it's, it, it handles just like any uh, professional stopping agent. It is almost, it is indestructible. You can't, you also cannot scratch it away with a finger or something but once it is uh, hardened out. Uh, this is a really good stopping agent here. And after you exposed it, you just fixated it once on the board. It is still a little bit, yeah, it's, um, it's volatile. So. Be careful with it, because the next step you have to um, negative develop it using mm, um, it's not natrium carbonide. It's say uh, not natrium natrium carbonide, natrium carbonide. Well, never no, no, look it up. <laughs> That's um, a very soft base and use about 10 grams a liter make um, the developing path 30 degrees then and then you develop it don't make it too hard too strong the resist it's it, it uses a very soft base don't use too much of the uh, carbonate uh, carbonate and and then you just develop it using a brush. I used a brush, that's quite good. And you check it out and after developing it, the parts that were not exposed in this case will dissolve in the process and go away. Now, and then the final step will be to harden it. Put it into your exposer machine again, 50 minutes each side. Um, I make 10, 10, 10, 10, 50 minutes each, each side and then it will, it'll be hardened out completely. Now it's almost indestructible, I mean it's, it's as good as any industrial made stopping agent. It's, it's really, it's, 
it's not worse. And then of course, this will be the last step in actually producing your PCB, you have to drill it. The drills are free, and the good thing is the stopping agent will sort of act as a drill agent as well, and it also will keep everything in place. It's not so, so easy to, say, tear off a track, like here or something, with a drill, if you have a stopping agent, it, it um, supports you. And then, of course, once you're done, you have a PCB with a good and fine state-of-the-art stopping agent. And um, everything that is missing now would be through hole and uh, <laughs> through hole and and what else? And a population print layer. I guess we could even do the population print layer somehow, but we wouldn't be able to do through hole technology. It requires a lot of um, poisonous chemicals. It's very expensive. It's very very hard to do. It's complicated. So come on, use I uh, use just a wire. And yeah, the rest is just as it always was. And you have a PCB that really looks grand. Considering you, you did it all yourself, you get really good results. Yeah, of course, if you use a stopping agent like that, plan about two to three hours more time for a double sided PCB, but it'll give you a grand result. It almost looks factory made. And this is homemade with a very simple um, stuff. So, I hope with this little inst uh, instruction, you try it yourself. It's really not so hard. I expect this to be more complicated. Um, not so easy and good to handle as it actually is, but it ain't. So, try it yourself. You will be surprised how good the result will be. Yeah, that's it for now. This is something really new I didn't do before. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.